If you want to know how to put on the Brick Policare Cube Pads, you came to the right spot. We're going to show you how to do it step by step, fast and easy. Hi, it's Steve from My Cold Therapy, where we help people get back to living. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in the video where you can find a link in the description box below. Let's jump right into it. Cold therapy is an awesome way to help relieve your pain and swelling after surgery, injury, or just a hard day of being a weekend warrior. So how do you properly use a cold therapy device? Well, I'm going to show you the proper way how to do this end to end. And once we're done, I'm going to show you the number one trick to make your cold therapy experience easier. All right. How do we do this? Michelle, take us through the steps of the application of the Breg Policare Cube pads. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the pad and the part number are correct. You would do this by looking at the front right corner of the pad where the part number will be listed on the white label. Notice this is a sealed bag and once the sealed bag has been opened, it cannot be returned. You will be getting a flyer with your pad that shows the different connectors. The Cube and Kodiak systems have different connectors. So please be sure to make sure that you order the correct pad. The other item you're going to get is a skin warning flyer. You never want to put the cold pad directly on your skin as it could cause some damage or some frostbite. And the universal protocol for cold therapy is 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. Also, please make sure to check with your doctor for any other instructions while you're using the cold therapy device, just to be on the safe side. To protect your skin, we sell sterile pads for each cold therapy pad on our website. You can also use a thin towel or a t-shirt, but please don't put the pad directly on your skin. They come in a sealed package and this is how you apply them. First, you're going to open the sealed package and remove the dressing. You're going to open the dressing up and you're going to see tabs on here. Go ahead and remove those tabs. Once you do that, you're ready to place the dressing onto the pad. Once you've got it securely in place, you're ready to apply it to your body part. Once you have the dressing securely in place, you're ready to place it on the body part. The regular knee pad has two Velcro straps that are adjustable. So you're going to bring the bottom one across, fasten it, then we're going to bring the top one across and fasten it. And you can adjust these to loosen them or tighten them depending on your needs. The hose can go up or down depending on how you have the pad positioned and which is more comfortable for you. Then you're ready to connect the hose from the cooler to the hose on the pad. There's two metal tabs that you need to push down before you connect it. When you go to connect it, you're going to hear that snap and that means it's secure. Once that's done, you're going to take your power cord and plug it in to the back of the cooler. And then you're going to take this part and plug it into the wall. As you can see, we have our cooler up on a table somewhat level with the knee that we're treating. It's optimal to have it somewhat level with whatever body part you're treating, but you can also set it down on the floor or chair if you need to. Great job, Michelle, in showing us how to do that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to show you our number one trick to help make things easier for you. We have freeze bags that you can use in the cooler and they come in packs of 12. You place three in the cooler and the rest in the fridge and then you just keep rotating the bags. This way, especially if you're alone, you don't have to keep chasing after ice and your refrigerator will have a really hard time keeping up anyway. Now that you know how to use your cold therapy machine, let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful and do give us a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and let's get back to living.